Hi, and welcome to this tutorial where I'm going to go through numerical variables. Okay, so there's essentially two types of variables, discrete and continuous. Okay, so these are the two types of variables. So the discrete variable, let's look at this first. The discrete variable is when we have, usually when we have exact values and it results results from counting okay whoops counting you have a bag of candies and you want to count how many candies there are you have different bags and you get values like say five seven eight ten 12. So these would be discrete because they're exact values and you and they result from counting. Okay, the continuous ones, however, would be uh, they would be numerical numerical values within a certain range. And they result result from measuring and again this is not this is not an exact science this is just a very rough or general idea and this is how it usually is so say i have the length of lobsters okay and i get 4.9 uh 5.6 7.2 uh, 6.7 and so on and these um, and this is my data set this would be continuous variables okay so I think you get the basic idea let's look at them a little more in detail so discrete again so when I'm representing these it would be in the form of a column graph so what a column graph is, is it looks something like this, where you have different columns that are separated, okay, that are separated, and on this axis you have the frequency, and here you would have the discrete data. discrete data. So if I had, again, uh, say I'm counting sweets and I got 3, 3, 5, 7, 8, 8, 8, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 and so on. And say this is um, 3, this is 5, this is 8, okay, then the frequency here would be 2, that would be um, 1, that would be 3, and so on. Okay, whoops, I skipped 7, but okay, so this is just to give you an idea. For the continuous one, we would represent that in a histogram. In a histogram and a histogram looks something like this and unlike the column graph here the columns are next to each other there is no gap between the columns okay and this is how you know that it is a um, continue it represents a continuous variable because the data is continuous I would say, uh, let's say again, we're measuring the length of the lobsters, and I'd have my length. I'd make a table first, I'd have the frequency. And here, I'd say, well, length less than four, but greater than or equal to three. So length less than five, uh, but greater than or equal to four, and so on. Okay, something like this. And then I'd have the frequency. So let's say I know three, five, four, and six, okay? And then when I'm plotting this on the graph, it would be 
So that would be three. That would be four. That would be five. That would be six. And between three and four, I have three. So this would be the frequency three. Between four and five, I have five. So that would be the frequency five. Between uh, five and six, I have four. So that would be the frequency four. Between six and seven, I have six. So that would be the frequency six and so on. Okay, so this is how you plot, plot continuous data. Thank you and see you in the next video.